Hey everyone, it's Kayla Ashley Plans and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be setting up for the month of March. First, let's take a look at a February flip through. I did an ASL theme and I really loved it because it felt very original and unique to me. And I also included these bright reds and pinks to include Valentine's Day. I did a lot of Dutch door and I enjoyed all of the Dutch door spreads. I think that the Dutch door is definitely the system for me. If you're interested in seeing my February setup or those last three weekly plan with me's, I will have them linked on the screen and down below. This month's theme is going to be dream catchers and I'm really excited for it because I love the vibe and I think it's a really calming and soothing theme. So I'm going to start off with the cover page and I'm using watercolor. I am putting a piece of paper towel behind the page just to protect the next pages and I'm just going in with a little bit of water and color and just making a random watercolor background. The Archer and Olive pages held up to this very well and the only advice that I can really give is to not use too much water at first. You can always go in after you lay down color with a little bit more water and blend it out and it looks really good. In order to help the pages dry flat, I am pressing a paper towel in between and I'm just putting something heavier on top. And this allows the pages to be less crinkled and it also dries a little faster. So now I am just taking my Tombow dual end brush pen and I'm using the bullet tip side to make the dream catcher. I took a lot of inspiration from online on Pinterest and Google and Instagram and I kind of just compiled all of that into one. If you are interested in this page, I am going to be making a digital copy for my Patreon. So if you join the $1 tier a month, you will get a free digital copy of the cover page for every month. And I'm really excited to begin at Patreon because I think it's another great way to have a creative outlet and to reach out to all of you.
On the left side, I am going to be creating a quote, and I decided to go with follow your dreams. So my theme this month, just like self-love was my main theme last month, is just going to be following your dreams and trying not to let fear stand in the way of you doing what you want. So I just created kind of like an aztec -y theme for the follow your. And then for dreams, I used a gray brush pen. And you'll see later on, I went in with four jelly roll pens in silver, blue, purple, and burgundy just to color in over the gray. And I really love the sparkle and shine that it left. This month, I am so excited to announce that I am releasing my first ever monthly sticker kit. So in the kit, you get three sheets. You get a deco sheet, you get a monthly deco sheet, and this is for headers. It's kind of like a washi strip sheet. And then you get date headers. So all three of these are available on my Etsy shop. You can get them as a digital download or you can get them as sticker sheets. If you get them as a digital download, you'll be able to download them instantly and there will be no processing fee. If you get them as a sticker sheet, there's about three to five days of processing and then shipping. But I am very excited to finally be releasing my first sticker set and I really enjoy the way that it turned out, so I hope you all do as well. To label the days on this full calendar, I have these circle days and they just include the first letter of the day of the week. I have them going from Monday to Sunday as well as Sunday to Saturday because I know some people prefer their calendars to be one way over the other. I'm including one of these dream catcher monthly decos at the top of the page and then for the rest of the page I am using my own marker and watercolor to fill it in.
I decided to try a monthly calendar Dutch door spread this time and I'm going to cut out the right hand side of the page and then include this washi strip that is in my monthly deco sheet and you'll be able to see it peeking through and I wrote March on it and I think it looks really cute. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of me finishing the rest of the setup, but I just did a goals and expenses page and you can see how I used the monthly deco stickers as headers. And I really like the way that this turned out. It's very decorative, but it's still minimalistic. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. Don't forget to purchase your very own monthly sticker kit down in the description below at my Etsy shop. Also, please subscribe to see more and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!